In this video, we'll write the equation for Ki plus H2O. That's potassium iodide plus water. Potassium is a metal, and then iodine, that's a nonmetal. So when we have a metal and a nonmetal, we have an ionic compound, and we need to take into account the ionic charge. So we have K, which is in group 1 on the periodic table. That means it has a 1 plus charge. And then iodine's in group 17, sometimes called 7A. It has a 1 minus charge, so we'll put a minus up here. We take solid Ki, let's put a little S here, plus liquid water. When we put the solid into the liquid, it dissolves into its ions. It dissociates. So we can write K plus, that's the potassium cation, plus I minus, which is the iodide anion. Since we've dissolved this ionic compound in the water here, we can write Aq after each of these ions. Aq means aqueous or dissolved in water. Because these are dissolved in water, we don't need to write water on this side of the equation. And that makes this the equation for Ki plus H2O, potassium iodide plus water. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.